Hey guys, it's Carrie. I have new tigers today and I got to meet a real rhinoceros family. A tiger's bite force is incredibly strong, about six times stronger than mine or yours. In fact, a tiger's canine teeth can be up to four inches or 10 centimeters in length. Their teeth are specially adapted for slicing through flesh and crushing bone. Tigers rely on their hind limbs for support when climbing vertically up a tree. Their hind legs catapult them forward when they want to run or pounce on prey. Tigers can generate up to 10,000 pounds of force with a single paw swipe. That's enough force to crush bone and kill prey instantly. Lion. Their main source of strength comes from their size, muscle mass, bite and claws. They use their powerful claws and bone crushing bites to take down almost any prey they can catch. Their long claws cause deep gashes and fatal wounds when a lion swipes at its prey. Indian leopard? It has larger rosettes than the other subspecies with a paler coat in desert habitats, greyer in cold climates and more ochre in rainforest habitats. They are opportunistic hunters built for strength rather than speed with large skulls and powerful jaw muscles to kill medium sized herbivores. At night they are well camouflaged in the trees and come down to hunt during the day. Caracal is a medium sized wild cat. It is found in Pakistan and northwestern India. When under threat it tends to hiss but it can also meow, growl, spit, purr like other cats. Indian elephant? They are classified as mega herbivores and consume up to 150 kilograms of plant matter per day. They are both grazers and browsers. They drink at least once a day and are never far from a permanent source of fresh water. Cows and cubs move about together as groups while bulls disperse from their mothers upon reaching adolescence. Bulls are solitary or form temporary bachelor groups. Asian elephants are more agile at using their feet in conjunction with the trunk for manipulating objects. Their three basic sounds are growls, squeaks and snorts. Himalayan brown bear. It is the heaviest and biggest among all the four bear species found in India. It has a thick fur layer. Males can weigh up to 550 kilograms and reach an average height of 170 centimeters. They are omnivores and they feed on grasses, peaches, roots, insects and small mammals like marmot. They are known to kill the livestock, sheep and goats. A large part of winter is spent by the brown bears in hibernation where they lower their heartbeats to 10 beats per minute and usually lose one third of their weight during hibernation. They are now categorized as an endangered species due to poaching, hunting, climate, habitat loss and other factors. Garial, it is distinguished from all other crocodiles by the shape of its skull 
and by its dentition, both of which are highly specialised for the capture of slippery fish. The snout is elongated and narrow, although it becomes proportionally shorter and thicker with age. Typically, a gharial can grow to 15 feet or 4.6 metres in length and weigh up to 907 kilograms. They are the most aquatic of all crocodile species, webbed feet and a long flattened tail giving them great swimming power. Indian rhinoceros, they fight with their razor sharp lower outer incisor teeth, not with their horn. Such teeth or tusks can reach 13 centimeters or five inches in length among dominant males and inflict lethal wounds on other males competing for access to breeding females. With reproduction, both males and females will spray you on to advertise reproductive receptivity. When sexually aroused, the female lifts and cocks her tail at an angle. The male sniffs the female's rear end, including the genital area or urine, using the flemen response. This is the baby rhino, Hari. He's just walking up to his mum, Amala. It is difficult to distinguish between male and females apart from when they urinate. And here's Hari urinating. The penis is curved backwards, allowing the characteristic redirected urination for a male. This is Hari's father, Dora. He's kept in a separate enclosure so he doesn't bother them. The male rhino will mount the female from behind and copulation can last for half an hour or more. A fully erect rhinoceros penis extends up to 75 centimetres or two and a half feet and is shaped like a lightning bolt. Sun bear is a very rare and elusive animal and is only found in northeast India. These bears are the smallest of all the eight species found and have short, sleek fur which is usually black but occasionally reddish brown or grey. They have a distinctive chest patch which can be orange, yellow or white. They have the longest tongue of all the bear species which helps them to feed on termites and ants. Asiatic black bear. They are omnivores. These bears also have long claws which they use to find and eat termites. A male can weigh up to 200 kilograms. Sloth bear, half of their diet consists of ants and termites. That is why they have long claws to dig up termite mounds and have also lost their front teeth which helps them to suck up insects in an efficient manner. Indian cobra, it captures its prey by biting and envenomation and then it waits for its victim to become paralysed before swallowing it whole. They have few predators. Some animals such as eagles, crocodiles, wild boars and mongooses may steal and consume their eggs. Adult mongooses are capable of hunting adult cobras relying on speed, thick skin and fur, and moderate resistance to the toxic effects of cobra venom to protect themselves from the deadly snake bite. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read and reply to all of your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.